Well, you, you've written this book right here, 100 Things to Do in Asheville Before You Die. Uh, I, I love this. A lot of people, you've been up to Asheville and everything. One of the things I love about this is you found like little little places, nooks and crannies that I didn't even know about. And I've been up there so many times. I love Asheville. So you're definitely going to find some new stuff. What made you want to write this? I've had a crush on Asheville for almost three decades, <laughs> so it just seemed natural to share my love of Asheville with other people. So that's kind of where this book came about. Reedy Press does have several 100 things to do in, in different destinations, but Asheville was not one of them, surprisingly. And so I, I just had to do it, right? Um, it's gorgeous. There's The creative spirit is huge. I mean, it, art is almost incidental here. You know, you you walk by, you see murals, you see sculptures, um, buskers doing their um, their music on the streets. It's just every time I go, I'm just so inspired. Is your t? I think your T-shirt is a mural thing too. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah look at you. I love yes. it. There's a whole trail up there, and then. A lot of people may know there was the big, you know, Dolly Parton one. Well, there's been a little addition to that since maybe some people haven't been up there, right? Yes, that was a recent addition. The mural trail, um, there are six spots in Asheville that are along the mural trail, which extends, you know, it's the Appalachian mural trail. So it goes, you know, at Asheville, uh, Hendersonville, Tennessee, places like that. But the Dolly mural is iconic. It's on Haywood Road, but... Um, over the past several weeks, there was a little addition, and uh, RuPaul is now uh, facing Dolly, which I can't think of a more perfect addition uh, to iconic people who kind of embody the spirit of Asheville uh, with, I don't know, there's just so much to, to love about that mural. I, I love this book because I can feel my, I, I, it feels like it's something I can walk around with. And I, when we come back, we're going to talk about the food, okay? We're going to talk about the, the beer and all that stuff. In the back, though, you've got suggested itineraries right here for just about everybody from you want to have a romantic getaway to even family fun right here. Where can people find out more and get the book? Readypress.com and just plug in 100 Things Asheville and you'll find it there. I love that. And the bucket on the front, too, is pretty funny. Hey, uh, readypress.com, make sure you check that out. We're going to talk more about Asheville coming up in just a little bit. It's Wilson's World, WCCB Charlotte. We'll be back. Good morning, Wilson. Uh, thanks for sticking with us. We were talking earlier in the hour about this book that has just come out, 100 Things to Do in Asheville Before You Die. Um, I love this. I love that you've got the suggested itinerary right here, which is really easy with the page numbers and everything in here. Everything from romantic book lovers, history, you know, I love that, family fun, places you can take your dog, and um, and of course, food. Absolutely. There's there's something for everyone there, but of course, foodies will will love Asheville. I mean, you're looking at a destination where the James Beard nominated chefs at the helm of so many restaurants is just staggering. Food Network, Travel Channel, so many places have been highlighted uh, on TV. So you can create your own food host itinerary. You can just pick out some restaurants that we've hi I've highlighted in the book. Um, the farm to table um, mindset is just huge. So you know you're getting locally sourced, delicious creative dishes no matter where you go one of my so, favorites up yeah. there early i'm glad you i knew you would have it in here early girl i love yeah. early girl that's such a great spot to go and grab a quick breakfast vegan choices in here for the food and everything and then the beer scene up there is just unbelievably crazy as well right i mean they don't call it beer city usa for nothing i mean there are more than 40 breweries in Asheville. there are more breweries uh, per capita in the city than any other place in the u.s and NPR actually dubbed it the Napa Valley of Beer not so long ago. I missed that one. I hadn't heard that. That it's, makes sense. That's a good way to put it. It's a perfect description, right? And, you know, Highland, Highland Brewing Company started that movement back in, what, 94. Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, there are just so many places to experience. You've got Green Man. You've got Asheville Brewing Company. Burial Beer, which is actually coming to Charlotte, Um I just uh, recently they announced. So, yeah. And then while you're at Burial Beer, you can 
find the mural of Tom Selleck and Sloth from the Goonies and get your selfie in and we'll, you know. <laughs> I, good I love the murals, the art. It's Asheville and we've all kind of been hunkered down doing what we can do. Um, uh, so get your vaccine and, and be safe up there and, and, and all of that. And just really looking forward to this. Uh, you can get this at uh, readypress.com, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Readypress.com and just 100 Things Asheville. I love it because it's very like you can put this in your pocket, put your bag real quick, pull it out. I love the itinerary. It's really smart. The text on here is easy. Like if you're just kind of sitting someplace to check it out real quick. Uh, right. You've also got an event coming up this Saturday, right? Saturday, the 17th. Yes, at um, at Legal Remedy at Riverwalk from one to three. We're doing a book launch and I do have several events in Asheville over the next few months. So just if you want to go to my Facebook page, 100 Things Asheville, I'll have updates there. Uh, Instagram, Christy Tolly, you'll you'll find information there as well. I love it. Uh, yeah. I, I, I want I, you got me even more wanting to head up there now. So we'll, we'll do that soon, maybe awesome. later on. Hey, great well, stuff. Make sure you check it out. Readypress.com. Yes. Readypress.com. And when you go and you experience some of the things I listed in the book, post it on social media with the hashtag 100 Things Asheville, um, because I'd love to see what everyone's doing. If you find a spot I've not included in the book, um, I can always add it later. <laughs> It can be a hundred more things to do in Asheville before you die. I love it. Hey, Christy, thank you so much. Uh, be safe. Mask up, everybody. And uh, hey, when you feel right about it, go check out a hundred things to do in Asheville. Uh, it's Wilson's World, WCCB Charlotte. We'll be back. <laughs>